All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, I'm going to show you how to update your USB Loader GX on your homebrew channel. That way, you can go and turn off this deflickering that the Wii is notorious about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Wii software has a thing that's called deflickering. And that creates a very soft image if you upgrade it with a HDMI device like I'm doing here. I have my device from uh, Amazon. It's a little Wii to HDMI converter. And it allows me to get stereo sound out from the back with a 3.5 millimeter jack. That's how I'm doing my 2.0 speakers right there on the bottom. And it allows me to put a 480i or 480p signal, you know, to my monitor right here i'm using a computer monitor it's the lg monitor this is a 32 inch 2k 165 hertz monitor and with the wii it runs at 480p and um i put it to 16 by 9 480p settings right here in my wii options so we're gonna go to the wii options real quick and we're gonna go to the settings and of course everything right here has been set to uh with the uh, screen options you go to your widescreen settings you're going to put it for 16 by 9 you say confirm screen re resolution put it at 480p confirm and then you just back on now and you're going to go to your right and you're going to go over here to your internet because in order to do these updates you got to have a connected uh connection to your internet so you go to your connection settings and right here on connection one, this is where I have it connected to my cell phone. So we're going to test the connection. Okay. And I use my Wi-Fi uh, hotspot on my cell phone because I try to do it to my Spectrum 5G router, you know, in 2024. And it just won't connect, but it still connects to the hotspot on my cell phone. If you just go to your options, you go to your connections, you go to your hotspot, turn it on. Some phones have two settings for 5G or 2. Point, I think it's 4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. And so I put it on the 2.5 gigahertz setting, sorry. And um, it actually connects. So you got to do it fast because your hotspot will turn off if it doesn't, you know, find a signal. Okay, so I turned mine on right before I started making this video. As you can see, the Wii... Recognized it and said, yes, the connection test was successful. Do I wish to perform a Wii system update? No. And the reason why you say no is because you have a homebrew Wii, which if you update it, it'll brick the Wii. And you don't want that because then all the work that you did adding homebrew channel to it is, is down the drain. So don't update it. All you got to do is just make sure that you connect to the internet. So start your homebrew channel. And the Wii adds this deflickering, and it also stretches out the uh, screen. And in order to fix this, the USB Loader GX has been updated. Now, the updated version is version 3.0, revision 1281. And in order for you to get that, you can do it either by going to Google it in it, or you can just go straight to your homebrew browser right here. Now, Googling it is Googling it, putting it on a USB stick, and then using this installers to install it, but that's a hard way. The easy way is just go to your homebrew browser, turn it up, put load, and because you connect to the internet, it's automatically going to start initializing, checking, connecting to the network. And this is a feature that they just barely added last year. Because if you like the Wii like I do, love playing on it, you love playing it and on these HD monitors, but it just looks a little soft. It just always looks soft. It wasn't completely super sharp. And everybody thought it was due to only being a 480p, but no, 480p can look really sharp. So now that the homebrew browser opens up, it gives you all these options. Demos. I click A on it. I push the A button to click on each one of these emulators, games, media, and utilities. Now, the emulators right here, these are all the different emulators you can download. Yeah, it actually tries to play PlayStation 1 games. It's not very good. 
you can try them. Maybe they updated them. I haven't tried them. I went ahead and downloaded this one. As you can see, there's a check mark show that I downloaded it. I'm going to try it out later and see if it works. But yeah, here's all your emulators. So you can get your Nintendo, your Super Nintendo. This right here is the best one. And then I guess the question mark is that I need to update them. Yeah. Okay. But what we're here to go do is go to utilities. And we're going to search for our USB loader, GX. I'm pushing down on my D-pad. Let me show you what I'm doing. So you can use the cursor to move around and push. But in order to move up and down, you got to push down on the D-pad with the Wii remote at this direction. Or this orientation. So here is my USB loader GX. I'm going to hit A on it. And it's going to open. Now, as you can see down here, there's some tabs. These tabs, if it was... To be updated, this tab will be highlighted blue, just like this one, all bright. But because I already updated mine to the latest firmware, it's went opaque because I'm done. But for you, if yours is option, hit that update. It takes a few seconds. Once it updates, you know, after 30 seconds, boom, it's going to show the new version, which is 3.0, revision 1281. And look at this, y'all. This was made in January 7th, 2023. Here we are in 2024, and people are still working on updated software, firmware that we can use to make the Wii even better. That's really cool. Okay, so from here, once you updated it, your USB, you can go ahead and do this for everything. You can update every other device, uh, whatever thing that you have on your, on your Wii from here, okay? Now, you can update it by going here. And click it on the emulator and it'll actually let's see let's try this because this is what i got look awesome there's a new update in july of 31 of 2023 for my snes emulator for super nintendo games so we're going to update it so you can see what it looks like so here it is updating in real time this is nice wonder what feature they added to this now, these are the controllers that will work. All these controllers will work with the NES and X uh, emulator. So you can use the GameCube or the Nintendo Wii Pro controller, even the, the Knuckles with that. Yeah, it's crazy, right? All right, so let's go to this other one. So this is my Nintendo emulator. I'm going to update that one. I can't see the date right here, but apparently it was a firmware in 2023 when it was updated again. Nice. Version 3.53. Yeah, I want to see what this one is like then for my Nintendo. Cool. Let's see what else I need to update, y'all. While we're here, we're going to learn. And we're going to do this right. Alright. So I don't have nothing else I need to update. Cool. Nice. Okay. Alright, so let's get out. So we're going to hit the home key on our Wii Remote. And it'll take it to this screen. So we're going to go over here to return the loader. And now we can open USB Loader GX. It's been updated. Down there on the left bottom, you see version 3, revision 1281. So yeah, now it's, uh, this is this menu. And down here is the settings for it. So we'll go to the settings and we're going to go to Loader Settings. And from here, you got all kind of options. You got a 480 pixel fix which is on now automatically from default. Uh, video mode right here, system default. This is where you can click through, disk default. You can force it to PAL 50, NTSC, region patch, PAL 480p, force NTSC 480p. I just leave it on system default, but uh, you can change it if you want. Now, you can use your cursor to move it up and down like this, but this is kind of crazy. So, what I do is I just move my Wii remote out of the, push it down to the ground, and then just push up and down on the D-pad so I can scroll through. Now, this is the D-flicker filter. I have it on off extended. If I hit the A button, it changes to on low. These are the original settings from the Wii. So, it gives it this soft look. 
Now you can go from low to medium to high or auto. Now, if you leave it on auto, it's going to be the factory, you know, flickering that softens it up so that you can play the Wii on a CRT TV. It looks better. But for our updated version, we want to go ahead and put it on the flicker extended off. Okay. Now, the second thing we want to do is we want to fix the ratio of the Wii games. Now, if we leave video width on auto, this is the default setting. And this is where it stretches the game to a full 16 by 9 ratio. But because we want to take that away and fix it, we're going to put it on frame buffer. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it right on frame buffer. And that is it. That's the only thing I'm going to change. You can go through if you want and change other settings but I, I suggest you write it down before you change any of these and go through and see if they help you out there's also a section for the gamecube because you know you can emulate gamecube also on your modded wii it's awesome it it, it plays everything y'all plays everything so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and back out and now by putting it to those settings it's going to sharpen the image but it's also going to make it to where it doesn't feel the whole screen is. You see how this screen is from one end to the next? It's going to shrink this whole screen to where there's like these black bars on these left and right side. And let me show you with these games. Let me show you right here. This game looks beautiful. It already looked great. But now with these added features of the deep flickering being turned off, you know, the flickering being turned off, and also now, see how it has black bars on the side? Here. So now the game is actually the correct ratio. Okay. And we're going to put that other controller in. I do have the Wii Pro controller. You know, over here. That way I can go ahead and hook it up to the bottom of the Wii. And that's it. <laughs> Now, let me go ahead and set this camera up so you can see it. I want to leave the light on just for a second, just so you can see the black bars and how the screen is actually now a different ratio. It doesn't fill up the whole 16 by now. I mean, this is good because you don't have the distorted, you know, ratio. Plus, now it's sharp. All right, let's move this camera up so you can see this and turn the volume up. All righty, y'all. Get ready for this beautiful experience. I know you can see what I'm seeing in beautiful 4K. So this is a Wii with a cheap $8 HDMI to HDMI connector with a 2.0 stereo system. It really improves the image at turning that uh, deep flickering off. And then it puts it in the correct ratio so it's not stretched out. So we have beautiful games, but to enjoy a modern TV, you really gotta get this USB loader. Get the updated version so that it improves it, man. Look how sharp that is. That's crazy. I made other videos where I had the old firmware and I had the, had the flickering on. Okay, y'all, so let me go and turn it off. I'm going to leave the camera in the same settings. Everything is locked. All I'm going to do is pause it, turn it off, and so that you can see the game 
in what it looks like with the factory settings, okay? The screen is going to be stretched out and it's going to have that flickering effect. Alright, so we got everything back to auto. Alright, so this is the factory settings. Let's see how, if it's still blurry. Why is the screen still, I think I haven't had to turn my Wii off and on. Yeah, cause it's still in it's, well, I guess it ain't gonna go back to the old way it's gonna stay sharp. <laughs> Please yeah, I'm going to have to go and turn it off and on to go back to the factory settings. Yeah. Give me one second, huh? Alrighty, y'all. I do apologize. I can't get the aspect ratio back to the stretched out one. I don't know if it's just the game, but I did turn the, the flickering... The, the deflector to on uh, high. So I don't know if you can see a difference in the quality or the sharpness of the image. Before I had it off and extended, now it's on high. And I left the video uh, ratio, I left it at auto. Y'all see a difference in the image? Is it softer? Did the other way look better? I didn't change nothing. I didn't change brightness or nothing. The only thing I changed ever was that deep flicker. It was on off, extended on the very first video. Now it's on. On high. Oh. He's doing force fields. Oh, he beat me. <laughs> you gotta love the animation on the guilty gear. So go back and check, y'all. Let me know if updating and changing these settings in your USB loader improved the quality of your Wii. Yeah, check it out. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and put it back to the off and hands because I really do like the way it looks. It really does look better. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps improve your Wii video quality. So leave it, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to Joe's Retro World. So until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.